Good morning, Tigers. Welcome to TNN. My name is Hazel. And my name is Skye. Please rise, show respect, and join me in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now let's pause for a moment of silent reflection. Now let's recite the Tucker Middle School mission statement. The mission of Tucker Middle School is to develop independent thinkers who are conscientious, compassionate, and embrace the diversity of the world around them. The challenging and rigorous educational program compels students to read with comprehension, write with clarity, and use information to solve problems. Here at Tucker, we are a PBIO school. We have pause, pride, attitude, wisdom, and success. The IB trait for January is reflective. We've thoughtfully considered the world and our own ideas and experience. We've worked to understand our strengths and weaknesses in order to support our learning and personal development. Once again, I'm Hazel. And I'm Skye. Today is Wednesday, January 18th, and day one for classes. Be sure to tune in each morning at 8.50 for news and announcements that matter to you. Happy 104th day of school, TMS. Here are your morning announcements. For today's lunch, we'll be having a choice of buffalo chicken dip with tortilla chips, or hamburger, and the grab-and-go will be a yogurt and fruit plate. In international news, a Republican former candidate for New Mexico's legislator, who police say claimed election fraud after his defeat, has been arrested on suspicion of orchestrating recent shootings that damaged homes of Democratic elected leaders in the state, police said. Salmon Pena, who lost his 2022 run for State House District 14, was arrested Monday by Albuquerque police, accused of paying and conspiring with four men to shoot at the homes of two state legislators and two county commissioners, authorities said. It is believed he is the mastermind behind the shootings that happened in December and early January, Albuquerque Police Chief Harold Medina said in a news conference. CNN has reached out to Pena's campaign website for a comment and has been unable to identify his attorney. Before the shootings, Pena, in November, after losing the election, had approached one of the legislators and some county commissioners at their homes with paperwork that he said indicated fraud that was involved in the elections, police say. In local news, Taylor Swift's acoustic guitar, Eminem's signed tennis shoes with an ensemble worn by a BTS member are among the items to be auctioned for charity next month. Julian's auction said Tuesday the memorabilia from some of the most popular music performers will be auctioned at the I Cares Charity Relief Auction on February 5th. All proceeds from the event following the Grammy Award ceremony will go towards Music Cares, an organization dedicated to helping musicians in times of financial and medical crisis. An Epiphone acoustic guitar that appeared on Taylor Swift's 2020 Evermore album artwork could drawn between 5,000 and 10,000. Eminem wrote the word shady on a white pair of Nike Air Maxes that could go up to 3,000. A black utility style jumpsuit with a buckle belt worn by BTS's J-Hope during a photo shoot for his debut solo album. Jack in a Box could garner up to $4,000. And now for the fact of the day. If you sneeze too hard, you could fracture a rib. Weather. Today there will be a high of 65 and a low of 60. There will be scattered showers. Announcements. Reading ball practice will be held every morning this week at 8.30 a.m. Please be on time. Be sure to continue to log your reading and bean stack for the Cozy Up with a Good Book Challenge. This challenge began December 10th and will conclude on January 31st. All of us here at TNN wish you a wonderful school day. Well, this concludes our morning broadcast. Thanks for watching, listening, and following TNN. Your, Your student, student voice of Tucker Middle.